Thank you for choosing to watch the Watchman News headlines video. Our full episodes can now be seen over at Patreon with much more added content for just $2 a month. Link is in the description. If you cannot afford $2 a month, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link, purchasing from our Teespring store, or making a PayPal donation. All links are below. In order for us to grow, we have to make changes to enable it. Our time is valuable, and we have been one of the very few news sources actually dedicated to bringing you honest, hard-hitting, actionable news and information. Plus, for your $2 a month, you do not have to hear me blabber about these links. It's a win for us all. Bullshit. Thank you. Good evening, watchmen and watchwomen of YouTube. So, tonight on uh, Patreon, we just... We discussed the situation that's going on in uh, Israel and Palestine a bit more. Um, I went a little bit more in depth tonight on my thoughts about what I see uh, forthcoming. Um, and uh, I really do see a, a huge escalation happening from here. Um, and I do believe that we're likely going to be uh, seeing an ultimatum given here soon. So... Uh, if you want to know more about my thoughts on that, go on over to Patreon. I'm just saying. Um, but I, I do think it's coming to that. I think there's going to be an ultimatum made uh, to Israel. I'll say that much. I think there'll be an ultimatum made to Israel. Uh, kind of a knock it off ultimatum. Um, and I think it'll escalate from there. So uh, anyway, in other news... Uh, Big appreciation for the donation today. Thank you, Tin. That um, allowed us to be able to get pushed further down the road as far as getting uh, projects done and uh, getting some videos uh, put out for you guys as well. Um, so very quick, uh, you're going to be seeing... Uh, you guys know you're going to be seeing the hybrid, um, uh, hybrid hydro uh, system. That video will be coming out soon. But I'm going to be putting a... Uh, a lock hasp on our shed and I'm, I'm uh, going to show you guys how I do that uh, how I put that lock hasp on the shed um, and why I'm doing it the way I am and then there's other content uh, again I gave uh, I let patreon in f on some further information when it comes to that of some video content that's coming out um, but that's uh, for you guys just going to be a surprise patreon already knows um, but it's going to be probably, probably one of my more important videos, to be honest. Out of all the stuff I've done since 2014, yeah, arguably, it could be one of the more important things to show you guys. So, um, anyway, so lots of stuff coming, lots of stuff coming, so... Uh, anyway, got headlines, got a bunch of headlines, so I'm just going to run through them, get them out and done. A lot of craziness, as uh, I'm sure you're well aware, never seems to cease. So anyway, let me uh, grab some glasses here. Sometimes I can read a little better with them. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I just can't read. So anyway, starting out with all headlines from today or that I put out today, mind you. Uh, let's see. Another hazmat train crashes and catches fire in Iowa just 24 hours after Minnesota derailment. CNN cuts ties with contributor over uh, abhorrent tweets expressing admiration for Hitler. Oh, yeah, that's a little crazy. Elon Musk crushes Bitcoin again with just one word. China administers 400 million COVID-19 jabs in new milestone. Vaccine chief confident shots can be repurposed for new variants. Bill Gates stepped down from Microsoft board after company launched probe into affair with female staffer, says the media. Children evacuated from little school area cordoned off as French uh, police received bomb threats. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov to meet in person for first time this week and may discuss Nord Stream 2 pipeline. 
Twitter temporarily suspends Spanish politician for saying that men cannot get pregnant. I'm letting that sink in. Is it sunk in enough yet? Because I don't think that's ever going to sink in enough for me. I've, I've tried. <laughs> it still ain't sunk in for me. Because uh, the last I checked, men can't get pregnant. And sorry, YouTube. I guess that's a ban. <sighs> Russia is making a mad dash to outrun peak oil demand. Singapore closes schools over concern that new COVID strains attack the younger children. <clears throat> now, mind you, I'm quoting here. Please understand. <laughs> I drink cow urine every day. That is why I do not have COVID right now. <laughs> Says Indian ruling party politician. Okay. Banking system and gold industry consume much more energy than Bitcoin, says a study. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, you can make a lot more money if you throw a bunch of cow piss on it. I know it. Ex-Navy pilot says UFOs were spotted daily for a couple of years as Senator urges U.S. to take phenomenon seriously. Hell, I can't even say the headline seriously after this nonsense. <laughs> Biden wants to avoid Trump's fate of U.S.-Russia relations dominating his presidency, so why... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Man, Biden wants to avoid Trump's fate of U.S.-Russia relations dominating his presidency, so White House needs summit more than the Kremlin. I reckon. Islamic Jihad commander in Gaza killed by Israeli airstrike as Netanyahu vows there'll be no end to conflict. Long working hours can lead to premature death, UN warns as offices prepare for post-COVID changes. Nah, really? That's, that's kind of why I was against this whole... Um notion that we should all kill ourselves right um there's a lot of men that fought very very hard in many many senses of the word um for a 40 hour work week okay and those same we pissed away everything that those people fought for we have pissed away Everything. And that was one of the things, was the 40-hour work week. You know, um, some brilliant person in our society decided that, oh, well, it'd be a good idea to encourage people to, you know, literally kill themselves, working themselves into, their ground, into the ground so that they can keep up with the Joneses. Right? And it's a shame. It's a shame. Because then you got a bunch of, you know, predatory capitalism that got started around the same time. And it's, it's sad. It, it truly is sad. And if we'd all stand up together, and I don't mean that in some hippy-dippy bullshit, but if we would all stand up together and say enough, Every one of us could live a nice life. There's no reason why every one of us can't live a nice life and just have to work a regular schedule without killing ourselves in overtime and be able to have plenty of nice things. But we got to be willing to work together and stop thinking that just because somebody else either makes a dime more or get something that we don't have, that that's somehow, you know, 
absolutely unfair. Where did you put your money? Because I think that's what I see a lot in those cases. I see it a lot, you know. Um, you're going to see this when it comes to prepping, okay? You're gonna, in fact, you already do see it. You're going to see people more and more disgruntled at preppers because we're prepared, because we have the things that they need, Okay? And you're going to see that. Well, we're not stopping them from getting those things right now. They are. They're stopping themselves from getting those things right now. And it's really no different. Really no difference. So. I, I you know, I saw it a while back. That if anybody's going to get anywhere in this world you're going to have to go into business for yourself and that you just so happen to be in a position in your life to where you can get a rather good paying job and there are ways to put yourself in that position absolutely but for the majority not so feasible anymore so something's got to be done the powers that be and their minions are literally killing us. They're using our weaknesses as human beings to do it. It's sad. It truly is sad. People people have killed themselves to have a little piece of that pie. You know? And anybody that speaks out about that you shouldn't have to kill yourself to have that little piece of pie, you should just be able to put in your fair share to get your piece of pie, well, then you're just this or that or the other thing. Really? Hmm. Worked great in the 50s and 60s. It built a hell of a country. And then it got corrupt beyond repair you know what I mean or what's the right word there it created it became so corrupt there was an offset you know there's always been there will always be corruption but you know at some points it's small enough to where um, it doesn't get noticed right because it's, it's just, just a little bit of nickel and diamond here and there but over time the corruption gets so vast to where the majority of it goes to corruption. Take a look at the stimulus. Perfect example. Take a look at the stimulus package. Okay? So, very little of it went to you. Right? You get to pay the whole bill. But very little of it went to you. And a whole lot of it went to corruption. I rest my case. Uh, let's see. Unexpected. Unacceptable neutrality. Iran calls upon international community to stop is, uh, Israeli aggression against Palestine. Uh, AT&T and Discovery join media houses as cord cutting encroaches. More merger deals and whatnot going on. Uh, Biden expressed his support for ceasefire in Netanyahu call. Check politics in crisis over 2014 ammo depot explosions as President Zeman refuses to accept intelligence reports blaming Russia. And I, I, I had a thought when I read this headline earlier today and I thought, well, is it intelligence if it's incorrect? Do we still call it intelligence if it's incorrect? Because that, even that notion doesn't sound very intelligent to me. So... There have been many come forward and say that Russia had nothing to do with that. But yet you have these quote-unquote intelligence reports. Man, I think stuff like that, I think language gets us in a lot of trouble. I think uh, the restriction of language is one way it gets us in trouble, and I think our refusal to use language gets us in trouble as well. 
and and our our refusal to call out incorrect language you know there's too much political correctness going on too too many people want to be soft in this country and they don't want to call shit out and they don't understand why shit's just falling right in front of us well because nobody's doing nothing about it nobody's calling it out you know maybe grow a set just you know an option New poll finds over 80% of disgruntled Japanese politician oppose Tokyo Olympics this summer. Scientists discover underwater currents which make hurricanes up to 65% more powerful. U.S. fuel crisis eases after cyber attack, but many petrol pumps remain dry. Supreme Court to weigh rollback of abortion rights. I thought that was stunning. And there's a couple of headlines that I've actually got in here twice from a couple of different sources, So, and that will be one of them. A Gujarat battered by most severe cyclone in decades, 150,000 evacuated as storm hits. So, and I'm sure I na- said the name of that uh, place wrong. Uh, Secretary of State Blinken says U.S. is working behind the scenes to end the Israel-Palestine violence despite the new $735 million arms deal. Hmm. Turkey's Erdogan asked Pope to help end massacre of Palestinians calls for international sanctions against Israel. EU and U.S. agreed a trade war ceasefire to focus on holding China to account. That is a headline you might want to tuck in the back of your mind. Supply, not science, is uh, its biggest problem facing COVID vaccines. Oxford professor who worked on AstraZeneca jab tells RT. Now, there's going to be another headline in here that's going to be what I call Exhibit A. But... Um, if there's not a demand, how do you have a problem with supply? Now, what do I mean? Well, (laughs) I'm sure that most of the people in the United States of America that want the vaccine have gotten it by now. Most. Probably not all, but most. Now, I'm speaking just to the United States. I get that there are nations around this planet that have not seen a single COVID vaccine yet. I understand that. But here in the U.S., we've been well vaxxed. Okay? And my question is, is where's the demand? Because if you've got the majority of the people vaxxed up, that, that, wanna be, that willingly want to be vaxxed up, then who's left? If we're still so behind, there's still such a demand for these vaccines, yet everybody's vaxxed up, then I can only assume that more people are going to need vaccinated. And if everybody's vaxxed up that wants to be vaxxed up, yet more people are going to be vaccinated, that must mean it's going to be mandatory. Keep your eye on this. I know many of you already suspect this, but I'm I'm trying to lay this out. Uh, this, this This is coming. And it's something that if you're like me and this is your line in the sand, you need to mentally get ready for that. Because I know a lot of people call out a lot of bullshit lines in the sand. But it's, it's, it's time to put your game face on. It's time to take the bullshit hat off. If this is your line in the sand, you better get it in your own thick skull that this is going to be your line. And you better draw it and you better stand firm. I'm just saying. Expect it. Irish PM Martin doesn't believe London wants to tear up Northern Ireland Brexit protocol after meeting with UK PM Johnson. 
Russia's Arctic LNG-2 project may be launched ahead of schedule, says Navatek. Russian foreign minister condemns attacks on civilians in Israel and Palestine, pledging Moscow will help begin peace negotiations. 42%, this is the other headline that goes along with that one I was just talking about. 42% of Russians do not want to be vaccinated against COVID-19 under any circumstances, even to enable travel abroad, says survey. And I bet you that you're going to find roughly the same number in the United States. Because why? Because it doesn't matter if you're Russian or American. People are people. And you're going to have some people that are just inherently going to have an issue with things like this. I'm one of them. Okay. And then you're going to have, you know, many others that are going to have specific reasons with something like this. And I'm also in that category too. Um, I'm just generally no thank you. And then I've got my specific reasons why no, you're not getting anywhere near me with that damn thing. Um, so I, I suspect we're going to have similar numbers between countries. And what's all them vaccines for? Hmm. Baby survives Israeli airstrike that killed 10 members of his family. Relationship with EU will be a bit bumpy for a time, says UK negotiators. London explorers doing things differently to Brussels. Israeli military says it's destroyed Hamas unmanned submarine thwarting terrorist activity in Israeli waters. Russia begins complex cleanup operation after huge 100-ton oil spill in remote far north has authorities initi uh, initiate criminal case. Uh, Gates' associate pleads guilty to sex trafficking charges. U.S. slaps new sanctions on 13 Myanmar military junta officials and ruling state administration council. Animal conservation groups call for reintroduction of jaguars to U.S. Southwest. Supreme Court takes on major Mississippi abortion case that could roll back Roe versus Wade. And I know I read a similar headline earlier. Uh, three cocaine mega factories destroyed in Bolivia as authorities carry out fresh raids against major drug gangs. Thailand battles rising COVID cases as prison infection clusters send cases to record high. Vaccinated older Brits not being hit by Indian COVID-19 variant, but evidence shows it's more transmissible. Uh, police say woman kills her two kids with a meat cleaver in Arizona. Yeah, that's a messed up story. Army whistleblower Chelsea Manning compares lockdowns to solitary confinement and says people will take years to recover. And, you know, I do, I do believe that he, she, whatever you prefer, uh, clearly she prefers she, um, I think she's correct to an extent. I, you know, we're not all the same. Some of us are a little tougher than others. And I do believe that, I believe that there are people that will never recover from the effects of not COVID-19, the virus itself, but from all of the other, other madness that it's caused. And I do be, believe firmly that there are people that have been psychologically affected by all of this that will never be the same. Okay, but then on the other side of the spectrum, you got people like me that pfft, has anything happened? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, mentally in the same place I was before. So pretty much not doing anything different in our lives than we did before. So. Uh, let's see, EU drugs regulator says Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine can be stored in fridge for up to a month. 
American death row inmates face grisly choice, die by electric chair or firing squad. Now, I've talked about this on this show before, about this here recently, about this um, different state starting to bring back firing squad. Um, but I mentioned this, gosh, over a decade ago, I had talked about that this was going to happen. They were going to bring back firing squads, and mark my words, they're going to bring back guillotines too. That's next. You watch. They're bringing this stuff back, and there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it, Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you I I don't get how somebody can be so evil and sinister and live with themselves. I just don't have that in me. But it's coming. Mark my words. France and other nations to cancel Sudan's $5 billion IMF debt with decision to be approved in June, Macron says. Uh, Take that to the Titanic. Twitter hints at premium subscription option as frustrated masses seethe. Israeli strikes on Gaza hit Red Crescent building, killing two, an aid group says. Uh, Blood on your hands, Turkey's Erdogan attacks Biden over alleged Israeli arms deal amid ongoing Gaza strikes. Associate for Matt Gates goes down for sex crimes amid calls for Republican congressmen to be next. IDF shells Lebanon after claiming rockets launched toward Israeli territory. Uh, Christ the Redeemer statue lights up with a message, Vaccine Saves. And I have a, you know, bit of an issue with that. Israeli airstrikes on Gaza resume as Tel Aviv thanks Biden administration for blocking UN statement calling for a ceasefire. <clears throat> and like I mentioned on Patreon earlier, why in the hell would you call or would you block a, a statement calling for a ceasefire? What? Why would you do that? How? How could you even claim out, come out and claim that you were a good guy and do that? It makes no sense. Uh, Gaza coronavirus testing and vaccinations disrupted after main lab dan- damaged in Israeli strikes. Uh, health officials say so. And that's it. That's the headlines for now. So this stuff, um, this stuff over there is really, really heating up quick. Keep an eye on it. I, I can't urge you to get ready enough. You need to be tying the bows up on your preps. You really do. So anyway, we will uh, keep an eye on these situations and more. We will be back tomorrow, God willing. As always, until then, God bless you, we love you, be one with your spirit, and shalom.